Good morning. It is a really great morning as we are about to go on a cruise line and it's a cruise line we've never been on. Holland America. We're going to do a three night on the Euro Jam. So please come and join us. We're going to show you all the food, all the drinks, any activities that we do aboard. Right when we got on board, it was around one o'clock. Therefore, our room was ready, so we went straight to the room. It is an interior cabin, a shower curtain, sadly. It is a very odd layout of this room because that's a closet, TV, and the bed. Now, our onboard time, it kept getting pushed back and back and back, and I think we had the 3 p.m. Yeah. Nope, they did not check. No, uh, they were. There's no lines for anything to get on board. Exactly, it was really, really quick boarding. Lunchtime in the Lido Duck buffet, we got similar items. I got mac and cheese, bread. We got beef. Do you know what strip loin? Strip loin. It's a pork slider. I got beef and mashed potatoes there. And then you also went with the pork slider over there and you got fries. Nice crunchy fries. And something I've never seen before, it's a meat order sandwich and you got a fried chicken sandwich. They do have a sail away special for $5. That's like with, the cheapest drink I think I've ever heard of on a cruise ship. Yeah, $7 with a souvenir cup. We bought the drink plan. Now we did have onboard credit so we couldn't buy the drink plan until we got on the ship because you can't use your onboard credit until you're on the ship. <laughs> you are right. We are currently in the crow's nest. I do like how each bar has its own five different types of drinks. I'm drinking the Brooklyn here and you got the bee's knees. In the crow's nest they have this interactive map. We're currently at Half Moon K which is one of the places that we will be going. It's the only place we're going. The only place that we're going. <laughs> and it tells you uh, information and really where crazy. it's located on the island. One of the activities on board is guess the weight of an art piece. And for participating, you get a free piece of artwork. Another activity that I've never seen before, they had guess the weight or the carrot of the sapphire in the shops. Something I don't think I've ever seen before. We have not even left port and we got disembarkation information. It is only a three day cruise. However, I don't think we need to know this right now. That seems a bit excessive. And away we go. And there is the beach. And the sirens of the pilot boat. One tip I do have if you do want to watch Sail Away, there's not that great of spots. So get there early. We were one per row back. I'd also probably recommend the uh, the wraparound deck. I think it's on deck two. Mm -hmm. and deck we're, two or deck three. Like we're that. deck 10 right now. And it was very, very crowded up here. Put the number, it will show you how many tequilas are produced in that distillery. Tequila Patro, just produce Tequila Patro. We don't produce any more. They have Team Trivia Challenge. We didn't participate in. It is currently 7.30 and we lined up for our Anytime Dining. It took about 10 minutes to get through this line to be able to get a pager. And they're saying it's about a 30 to 45 minute wait for a table. This pager can go up as far as the Pinnacle Bar. We finally sat down at the restaurant. It took about 25 minutes for our buzzer to go off. And now it is the appetizer time. We got croquettes. I will say we sat down 45 minutes ago and we just now got our appetizer. So 
be prepared. It might be a long wait. We both got the croquettes. They had really good, uh, like, an onion roll here. And I'm uh, hoping this is uh, really good. Our entree has finally arrived. Oh I got the lasagna and you got the chicken leg. Yeah, it smells good. It does smell good. Now, I will say, with the timestamps, we oh. got our buzzer at 7.35. We got sat down around a little bit before 8 o'clock. We got our appetizer at 8.40 and our entrees are at 9.20. And the only reason why we got these is we talked to the Mater D and we almost left. I will be fully honest. Now the crew is working very, very hard. They're running around, but be prepared to wait. We decided to head to deck 11 for the bar. Um, we are currently at the Tamron Bar here. Very different cocktails, very quiet and different atmosphere than dinner was. I am drinking the Emperor's Nectar, and you are drinking the Far East Legacy. Yes. We also have a lot of sakis at this bar, I will say, uh, something I'm not a fan of. Some of the ingredients, like the high value ingredients that are on the menu, don't actually exist. Like, mine's was supposed to be made with Grand Marnier, they don't have it. And mine was supposed to be made with St. Germain, and I got St. Elder instead. In the main theater, we are about to see humanity, and I'm really looking forward to the show. We just discovered something very neat. I just said that this uh, chair, very comfortable, but they need drink locations. <gasps> and they do, they have drink holders. Look at that in the armrest. And if you're not having a drink, then they're not in the way. Magic. Magic. We just got out of the main theater show, Humanity. It was a really, really good show. It was a dancing show, but with a lot of different te technology. They had screens and projections on the floor. It was really good. morning it is day two and we are at the buffet for breakfast and uh, their French toast is made fresh it looks really really good I got sausage link bacon uh, you went with a big breakfast for you uh, yes. you went with biscuits and gravies pancakes bacon cheese um, egg muffin and it's interesting too like when we got here there was a big long line now there's no line at all it's very hit or miss With Half Moon Key, it is a tender port, so therefore you need to get a number. Now, there's good and bad of what Holland America does. They don't do the announcements all the time. You have to, once you're ready, you go to the theater and they'll give you a number. However, now we have about an estimated 30 to 45 minute wait until our number is called and they ask you to wait here until your number's called and they don't do announcements. You only know if your number is called inside the theater. So that's also kind of good because they were not doing announcements all morning long, waking people up who want to sleep in. However, it also kind of stinks that we are now stuck in the theater for about 30 minutes. As we wait for our number to get called, we got a drink. Or he went to the drink, uh, get a drink while well, I listened to the numbers being called. We waited about 25 minutes until our time was called. And it's a very different Tinder boat, as is a glass bottom Tinder boat. And we made it to Half Moon Key. We spent about two and a half hours in the ocean here at Half Moon Key. I love the sand. There are no rocks here, which is a major plus. Right now we have two different ships in port. We have the Eurodam that we're on, and then we have the Rotterdam. However, the beach was not that crowded. We found a beach chair right away. The ocean, it is kind of chilly, so that didn't get crowded. 
Overall, a very fun time here. This is a first for us. We have never been on a lifeboat. Thankfully. Thankfully. <laughs> but uh, this is our shuttle back. If anyone's interested of what a lifeboat looks like, here it is. Not uh, definitely not something I ever want to experience. Uh, the guy driving it kind of sits higher, like driving the submarine voyage at Disneyland. Oh yes, yes. And uh, it's a four across on the seats. And here we head back to the ship. Really cool view of the beach. It is a really cool view. Captain Morgan Pirate Bar. Right there. You have cabanas. Giant two-story bungalow things. They're super expensive. And we're uh, moving quite a bit. And I believe this is what you were hoping for. Yeah, the magic pulley system. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. We're going to hang out by the pool on the ship for a while. But one thing I have not mentioned is I love the decor throughout the ship. These are seats at the pool bar. Through the app, you can order food. It's either pizza or at the dive-in, hot dogs or burgers. We went with uh, hot dogs and burgers. Update on the mobile order. It's kind of like the Domino's tracker. It tells you exactly where your order is in process. And here is our order. We got a hot dog with crispy onions and cheese. This burger looks fantastic. And then, and then cheese fries. Cheese fries. We also got a strawberry margarita. And then I went with the painkiller. This food it smells really good too. And yeah, it's fresh to order. Spend some time in the pool. Now the pool is a little bit deep and it gets deep quickly. It was a really nice temperature. The hot tubs though, very, very hot and warm. But the pool was a very nice temperature. One thing to note at the pool bar, their Bahama Mama and Painkiller are pre-mixed. Another team <laughs> trivia challenge is happening at the billiard on board bar here. Now last time we did pretty good. We got 11 out of 15 correct. It is dinner time in the main dining room. This time for the appetizer I got is Caesar salad. And you went with the arancini. Yeah, we're eating way earlier this time. We got here like as the dining room opened. Yes. Main course time, I got the penne. And you went with pork? Pork, pork belly. belly. Looks really good. For dessert, I got the red velvet. And you got the chocolate whiskey cake. Looks really good. I will have to say, tonight's service, night and day compared to yesterday. Uh, yesterday it took us an hour and 30 minutes just to get our entree. Today we've been here for about 35 minutes and we're already on dessert, which is awesome. The waiter actually did also come over from yesterday and apologize for the service. Which he didn't have to. Which he, no, no, which is excellent service. So uh, we appreciate that. We are really leaning right now <laughs> yeah, to one is side. Like, like 10 degrees to the left. Yes. You move a lot. And we're at the buffet for no reason at all. Yeah, someone uh, wanted to check out the buffet. They had pork uh, belly. On the carving station. And some bread. Back at the bar on the 11th floor here. Now one bad thing about eating so early, yes, the service was super fast, but there's nothing going on right there. There's no music, no activities. There's only drinking or food. Yeah, but then at 7 o'clock, it's a pretty good lineup for the rest of the evening. Yes. The first evening activity 
is Team Trivia Orange. It is all about the Netherlands and Holland America Cruise Line. I hope there's lots of Efteling questions. We'll do well. With trivia, we did okay. We got 14. Winning team got 19, but we don't know anything about Holland America Cruise Line. And now we are drinking a specialty cocktail here called the Roadhouse Drop, which has Grey Goose and raspberry in it. Yeah, kind of like a raspberry lemon drop. We just watched the comedian, Steven Scott. He was pretty good, yeah. Very uh, talented with the noise effects. Yes. And now it is the orange party here in BB Kings. We had to step outside and take a walk. It was really, really hot in that club. Of the band sounds great the, though. Yes. Now the orange party, a little probably disappointing as it was just... The band a, doing a set. <laughs> yeah. They did a couple of line dances pre-party uh, and then the band played their stuff. They sound great though. And I, we left, I believe right before the officers were being introduced as there was a lot of officers standing around in the back. But now we are cooling down and then very heading to the show. Here. Yeah, very quiet. Right now we're on the front of the ship in the, the walk around deck on deck three, which is very, very pleasant. A very nice breeze. There's just like a whole bunch of lumber sitting around. No idea what this like, is Like it, it totally looks like you're at Lowe's, like home goods right now. I, what do you think this is used for? <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below, because it's not something I was expecting to see. Building a theater set? I don't, they, but their set's all digital. I don't know. In the main theater, they have off the charts today that has the piano players and dancing. For the late night food, they don't have the buffet open, but it only runs until 11.30. 10.30 to 11.30 is late night snack. Yeah. I got cheese fries, ham and cheese croissant. You got Arasini? Yeah, meatballs and cheese rice. For her, she hasn't guessed yet. She is wide up in space. Our final day on board, and we're having breakfast again in the buffet. I do have to say the pancakes are probably the best breakfast item, which makes sense since the Netherlands are known for pancakes. Spending some time today, this morning, in the gym. Inside the stateroom, they have a really nice selection of movies for free. We watched Spider-Man yesterday, and uh, my watch Doctor Strange today. For lunch, we got uh, fries, mac and cheese, and what kind of slider? Uh, short ribs. Short rib slider. I also got cheese bread. Now the bad thing is about them serving you is this is way more mac and cheese and fries that I would have served myself. Out on the pool deck, they have a Dutch shuffleboard, which is a very ver weird version. I'm not very good about it. I think you're supposed to slide pucks and bump them to the other side. They're all stacked up over there. See how well I do. Time for another trivia. This is music trivia. Good. Having some drinks. I'm drinking the Blue Florida, three, right? and you're drinking the right. Whiskey Smash. Finally, we're going to try out their pizza after playing the music trivia. Now, the movie music trivia was 80s or earlier, so be prepared for that. Definitely shows you kind of. Uh, more of the clientele that usually comes on here. Then we also went to a history of rum in the theater. Which is cool, you saw like a lot of that theater technology. Yes, and now we uh, customized our own pizza. Uh, we got pepperoni, ham, pulled pork. and pulled pork. Another trivia is about to start. However, I want to show off the drinks. I'm drinking the Fastenisa, 
but you're drinking something very different. It's a beer made for Holland America. Yeah, it's part of their 150th birthday celebration. Which apparently is this year. One nice thing about this cruise line that not many cruise lines do is that they do have a happy hour if you all do not have a drink planned. The only other cruise line I know that does that is Disney that has no drink plan. Now, crowds at that bar does get pretty bad during that hour. With Holland America, I feel like it's a very classic ship and classic feels. They have all these pictures on the wall around the staterooms. And to me, this gives you more of the, uh, you know, old school cruise ships feel versus the colorful pictures. Dinner time in the main dining room and we decided to eat early again. And tonight is our fancy night. They're celebrating 150 years here on Holland America. I got the crab and article choke dip. Sounds really, really good, look good. And you got their duck. Yeah, duck appetizer. That's something you don't see very often. The main entree, I got lamb. And you went with a beef tenderloin with shrimp. some shrimp. Very unlike you with shrimp. Well, you'll probably eat my shrimp. I will. Dessert time, I got the blueberry cheesecake. And of course, they're <laughs> celebrating 150 years. And on it's really cheesecake. cute. Yeah, on my cheesecake. And you got a flourless chocolate cake? It's small. That's small cake. It's a little small. But mine's really pretty. Caribbean trivia. We just can watch the comedian show of Steven Scott. We got here about 25 minutes early and all seats were taken. So be forewarned about that. And now, uh, the blues band is coming back on. We're here at Chocolate Surprise, which a bunch of people just come out with chocolate treats. I'm very confused of what's happening. I think you just grab whatever you want. They have the BBC Planet Earth documentary. They have the orchestra playing the songs while they, I think, uh, play the movie. I believe that's what's in heaven. Animal stuff. Yeah. And that will do it for our time on Holland America, our first time. It was a little bit different, less activities. Mm -hmm. uh, I did like the blues band that was really nice they were a really great band uh, if you want to get uh pretty drunk have the wing wang secret drink it did destroy us yes yes uh in the in the bb kings uh <laughs> the pancakes were really good in the breakfast too yep. if you have any comments or questions about our cruise or any activities that we did um feel free to leave them and we'll try to get back to you thank you so much for watching